Uh, next up, we have two, new, two other newcomers to Seattle, Megan Oyster and Ali Long. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Seattle. Um, my first question is about Seattle. What, did, what was your reaction for both of you when you found out you were coming here? Ooh, mine's kind of a heavy answer. <laughs> Uh, it was definitely a journey to get here. Um, the whole thing with Boston falling through and all that was definitely tough, but when I found out I was coming to this team, um, it made it all better, and I was extremely excited. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for me, I think that um, when I look at this team, it's probably the most talented team that I've been a part of, and I think that um, I was super excited, and um, I know I'm from, I was on Portland, so yeah. <laughs> But I hope that you guys can like forgive me and um, <laughs> and we can start over. But yeah. I've asked some other players this already, but what has been the overall vibe of preseason? We were just talking about this. It's just been amazing. I mean, it's super competitive. Every single player on this team is just hey, they have a story, they have a history, and. Um, to be able to be on the same field as all those players has been um, a dream. And um, like I said, it was just, it's just been really competitive and a, a really strong environment. So I've enjoyed every minute so far. Same. <laughs> <laughs> um, what part of um, you know, your training um, or growing up do you feel like has been the most impactful part of really helping you grow your game to be where you are today, playing professionally. Both of you have gotten national team call-ups. Um, is there kind of one part of your training or support that you've gotten that's really helped you get here? I think growing up, um, my mom like still plays soccer now, and she plays like in a co-ed league with like guys. And so I think like just seeing that like growing up, that always made me like want to play with guys. And so I've just been playing like every off season. I go home to New York, and I'm pretty much playing in like these like underground futsal leagues that are like um, really just like really intense, great level. Um, and it's I'm the only girl, and um, it's been so fun and just like has really, I think, evolved me as a player and helped me so much. Um, but yeah, I think like growing up, seeing like my mom do that, I guess, just play with guys has kind of helped me for sure. I have kind of a similar answer. I grew up playing on a boys team. From like seven to 15, I played on an all boys team. I was the only girl. And I think that just taught me so many lessons going forward. Um, I definitely became a lot tougher and just mentally strong. Um, I had to face the boys every day and even their parents, they always looked down and said like, this girl shouldn't be here. So I constantly had to prove myself. And um, I think that's just carried throughout my whole career to just be mentally and physically strong and tough and um, to just get through anything. So I think that definitely shaped me as a player. What, um, what do you have to say to, um, to Seattle fans um, before the first game this weekend? Um, no, that I think that uh, your support means so much, and I just want to thank all of you, and I can't wait to see you guys at games, and um, it, it's going to be a great season, and I know that we have some doubters that don't even think we'll make the playoffs, but <laughs> I like that position, being the underdog is, um, is the best place to be, so um, thank you for all your support, and I'm really excited for the season, so... She said it best. We're super pumped and can't wait to get on the field. We're excited. And Megan, I have um, followed some of your Instagram posts. You seem to enjoy the coffee scene as food scene as well. Are there any places in Seattle that you have found that you really, that you love going to so far? There's tons. I'm like, can't even, I'm overwhelmed by the options here. It's the best thing ever. Uh, but I think the first one that I would say is Evoke, because they have a little dog named Pablo, and <laughs> we've become best friends. But yeah, that's my number one spot right now. Anything for you, Allie? Down the street. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this place, but it's, it has acai wools, and they're really, really good. Verve? Ver Ver I don't know if it's like verve or verve. <laughs> verve. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a few fun questions for you as well. Uh, do you have a go-to song that you have to listen to before a match? Mm, 
I like just like rap, probably like Drake or something. <laughs> Got some love for that one. We had a little like grab bag kind of thing where you had to pick a name out and whoever got picked had to make a playlist. Hardcore judging moment. <laughs> but I got picked and I had to make a playlist and I did like 90s throwback songs. So I thought it was pretty fun. I like those. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the best dancer on the team and besides Bev? <laughs> I mean, Bev's got it. <laughs> Definitely Pino. <laughs> Shout out. I feel like people are trying to win some Pino points. <laughs> I wasn't here earlier. I didn't hear what the other. It's a dance off. I heard that. Good idea. Oh, we've got a stage. <laughs> Pino, where you at? I see her. There she goes. <laughs> Uh, and it's the, it's the morning before game day. What's on the plate for breakfast? I like avocado toast. Me and Kristen Westfall made like five of them in a row in LA when we were playing there. Best thing ever. Just like smashed avocado with a poached egg on toast. Really good. Yeah, I like a good, just like egg breakfast. Um, I don't like to drink coffee too early because I get like too hype. So I save coffee to a little bit closer to game time. I just like to chill out. Well, thank you. Welcome to Seattle. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really excited.